it's Kluta to the back post. Head up back in, shot, score! That's a lovely finish from Jair. It's his fourth of the season. And it's perfectly done, really. The cross from wide. It's been an interesting career already for Bongalwe to Jair as he uh, started as a Bidvest Vitz player, went on to uh, Maritzburg United on loan, thereafter left and uh, came back to Vitz, then went from Vitz uh, and played his football with uh, Mpumalanga Black Aces that became Cape Town City. Now he is a Kaiser Chiefs player. It's uh, been a busy time and you're only 27 years of age. <laughs> Bongo, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Thomas. So what's it feel like, you know, the constant traveling as a footballer, different cities, different teams? Well, it's part of the job, you know. It's been it's been remarkable for me. Uh, I've actually enjoyed it as much as possible. Uh, every 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 province that I went to, mm -hmm. I just went there to go do my best. Now, I want to take us to the beginning. Ekai gugubi. Ekai akselami. Laya isoetu. Ebo. Then, this is the th the part that I w I needed a con an understanding of. Mm -hmm. You then went to one of the best sports schools in South Africa. You went to Poch High School. From Lamini to Podge, how? It's my mom. Kanja. My mom actually loved the school. Uh, she thought I'd get out, be more responsible and everything. So she decided me. She asked me to go to Podge, and I said, "Why not?" I mean, the history there. Ezekiel Sapeng comes from Podge. Keegan Dolly's been there. Springbok rugby players come from there. Cricketers. It's a sports school. Is that where the love for football came from? Not really. When I was at Poch, I didn't even play soccer. Poch, I learned. I played rugby, cricket, uh, <laughs> like other sports, but I didn't play uh, soccer. I the even, whole high school? The whole high school. I even, uh, I went to, I was just, Nash, I was just uh, provincials for hockey and cricket. Um, I only played soccer when I went back home. So you weren't even playing for a club outside of high school? You, nah. How is that even possible? <laughs> it is, it's just... That it is, just means it? that, what, five years of your life in high school? You never touched the soccer ball? Never. And then when you started again, you were between the ages of 18 and 19. And you then still went on to be a professional. True. That's an unusual path to professional football. It, it actually is. Kanja and Indota. Ah, man, it, what can I say? It's uh, perseverance and just believing in myself, you know? Um, as much as possible, I had a coach that actually believed in me. Uh? From the word go, you know, uh, I've got a legend which is also behind my back. Uh, Bototsu Makanya was one of them. He actually looked after me. And Paradise Moketi uh. is the one that actually brought me to Fitz and for started, it all started from there. So here's this hockey player. <laughs> How does he get to Bidvest Fitz? This hockey player went from uh, playing in Soweto with my grandma, with, with, for my grandfather's team, uh, to Vitz, uh, pa uh, Coach Paradise Moketi asked me to come for trials there, mm. which Eric was also there, Eric Tinkler was also there. So I uh, came there for a five-day trial. After a five-day trial, they said, no, we want to sign you, and I started from there. I want to fast forward through a lot of your career to last season, because what a season at Cape Town City. <laughs> there was that hat-trick, right? Yeah. And when we talk that hat-trick, that hat-trick against Chippa United, and I think we'll see some of the goals from that hat-trick, took Chippa to top of the log in April. You were two months away from the end of the season, and you were top of the log after this hat-trick, this 4-1 victory. How much belief did you guys have at that stage that you could win the league? I mean, we had a lot of belief, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, it's all about one game at a time. Uh, we tried our best uh, to push to the, until the final game, but... What can I say, man? It was maybe it was the men above who wasn't ready for us to win the league, but we just had ample belief on that day. And then Ngale Lang, Aleli, 16 minutes, three goals, Bonga Bona Bantumas. Hey, this, this day, I, can't, I, can't, I, won't forget, I won't forget that week. Mm. I was actually not in the starting lineup uh, from Monday until Thursday. Then the uh, day before the game, uh, I think we had a training session. And I was on fire that training session. And oh, coach Eric, the coach is in New Zealand. And Coach Eric said, no, as in, uh, I'm thinking of starting you. Mm. And I was like, no, no problem. Then from there, once I got the first one, I just went on. And then I got three in six, 15 minutes, and mm. I was like, wow. So it's something else. Special group you had there. Yeah, we had a quality. We've been together for two years, I think. So it's been quite a roller coaster for us. Then, what happens? Because you just said special group, <laughs> quality, young Kinto, and you can't agree on a contract. You can't, the thing is, you know, sometimes you can't agree on a contract. You can't, my main objective is my family. I have a small daughter that's actually 
in Joburg because she's growing up. She's 11 months now, so I was a person that actually missed my family, and I decided to not, not, not renew my contract and come back home. And Kaiser Chiefs were the club that wanted you the most? Well, uh, it was first love, as, as I said, from a uh, year from five years old. I've actually been in love with this club. Also, oh, it's Kosi all the way through. All the way through. Even when I was playing against them, it was like have that special, special feeling to play against them. And when they had, when they stepped to my door and just came knocking, I said, "Why not?" And now that you're here, now that you are an <laughs> Amakosi, what does that feel like? I mean, it's great. I won't lie to you. Uh, it's been, it's been awesome so far. I'm loving every moment. You know, I just want to enjoy myself and just play for the team and play for the brand. Even the last eight minutes that you played in the MTN8? The last eight minutes, whatever. When you go out there, you just do your best as much as possible. You never know what can happen in eight minutes. Eight minutes is a lot of time. So you just go there and just do your best. And you weren't worried. Eh? Lots of competition in the wings when you come to a, a Kaiser Chiefs. Quality players that you have to try and push out. Um, even if you look at this game, you weren't in the starting lineup. What's, what's the plan? Well, what's the plan? Uh, main thing is to do the simple things. And life here always, if you do the simple things, you always get, you always be successful. So uh, do the simple things, just go out there, do your best. When the coach gives you an instruction, follow the instruction, just play for the brand. That's the main thing. And what can Chief supporters look forward to from you? <laughs> that's always a tough question that I always have to answer. But the one thing I can tell you, uh, I'm a player that's got a lot of hunger. I've got a, a lot of hunger for, for winning. So I would like to win silver with the club. And for me, that needs my teammates and all of us need to pull together and just go out there and just do our best. Mongolwetu Chaiya, it's good to have you in the studio. It's good to have you in Johannesburg. And we look forward to seeing you in the ABSA Premiership this season. Champunino is standing by on the bench. Champunino, what have you got for us? Yeah, I'm saying, like, if you are hungry, my guy, there's three chisanyamas in Soweto. Ooh, Jill, before Tladi Show. I'm here with us, Notemba. Uh, if you don't know her, if you are my age, you'll know she was on On the Beat. But right now, she's doing jazz. Look at her. I get with the jazz. Why is it been a little Why is it been a little Thomas, recite this casa. Back to you. <laughs>